Damn it. Thanks again for your assistance, Detective Parker. Detective? What the hell is Kid doing here? Nothing criminal, I assure you. I was just getting a mind map of Mr. Tannen for our exhibition at the Expo. The authorities wouldn't allow Edna and I to stage a demonstration of the mental alignment meter with a violent felon, but this little baby is just as good. Okay, let's see now, what's next? Check the stew, sort the maps, ooh, I almost forgot that. Edna really is cracking the whip, isn't she? Well, yes, but she's got my best interests at heart. Without her, I can get so distracted. Did she send you down here to check up on me? Uh, yeah, she wanted to come herself, but... She's busy too, I know. Well, you're a poor substitute for Edna's lovely features, but make yourself at home. Thanks. No thanks are necessary. Without you, I'd never be where I am now. In love with a woman of my dreams. And a mere six hours from my first public triumph as a scientist. Wait a minute. Six hours? Jumping Jehoshaphat, I'm running out of time! My. A ver, necesitábamos fotos, ¿no? If I'm gonna take Emmett's mind map, I better replace it with another one. Una foto de tu padre, a lo mejor. I don't think a picture of my dad would be useful here. The mind of a degenerate criminal. That's Kid Tannen's mind map, as captured by our mind map helmet. You could tell he's a criminal just by looking at this? No, but when it's fed into the mental alignment meter... <laughs> Weird. Weird nothing. It's science. Money. Si ponemos la foto de del padre de Marty. No. Vale. How does the mental alignment thing work? Here, I'll show you. Hey, the test subject wears this mind mapping helmet, which probes the brain by measuring fluctuations in skin conductance and electrical resistance on the surface of the parietal lobe. Uh huh. When I turn on the mind mapping helmet with this radio switch, the subject is exposed to a series of visual stimuli intended to provoke a series of positive or negative responses as indicated by these lights on the helmet. Hey, is that? As the responses are recorded, they're relayed to this special typewriter which prints out a punch card that represents the subject's mind map. All I see is a bunch of holes. Well, to you, maybe. But to our mental alignment meter, this mind map is nothing less than a peek into your subconscious. Observe as I place your mind map into the MAM. Layabout? Is that machine calling <laughs> me a slacker? No, your own physiological responses did. Vale. Supongo que habrá que hacer algo con esto, es que no lo sé ahora mismo. How goes the bacteria farm? Not so hot. The bacteria have kind of gotten out of control. I had to put a clamp on the nitrogen tube to keep the stench from flooding the lab. Lata aceite. What's this? That's a can of used motor oil, rocket fuel waste, and assorted chemical sludge left over from my abandoned rocket car. Gross. Accounting doesn't enter into it, but it is disgusting. Would you mind disposing of it on your way out? Uh, sure. Bueno, tenemos una lata de aceite que no sé para qué es. <laughs> Convence a Edna de que M es un sabandija. <laughs> o ya del guisado. What's cooking? That's an old brown family recipe for Hassenpfeffer. Hassenpfeffer? Rabbit stew. The trick is to add the cumin an hour after the carrots. Take a whiff. Mm, isn't that just about the best thing you've ever smelled in your life? It's, um, powerful, yeah. I've got it on a slow boil for later. Money. What's this? It's the placard we'll be putting in front of our booth at the expo. The scientist that caught Kid Tannen? A small exaggeration, but Edna says it'll attract investors. What do you think of the picture? 
Pues bueno. You look a little constipated. What? Edna said I looked intense. Yeah, intensely focused on taking it. I get the picture. Hmm. But I'll have to find a better one. Unfortunately, there's a lot to choose from. Hostia, pues esa es la verdad para mí. Heavy. Extremely. Mother has been rather obsessive about photographically cataloging my life. Vale, esta es para, para nosotros. ¿Dónde está? Creo ya tenemos todo para... Hey, Emmett, I've got an idea. What? Why don't I take your photo album over to Edna so she can pick out your new picture? That's a great idea. She's got a better eye for these things than I do anyway. Thanks, pal. Don't mention it. Vale, ya tenemos todo para... Para ir para allá. Pero no sé si hay que hacer algo aquí. Antes... I'd be careful of that if I were you. Why? The rocket fuel experiment must have stripped one of the teeth in the hand crank. As a consequence, if you turn it for more than 10 seconds, it... No! ...sends out an electric shock. Vale, ahora está como en rojo. ¿Y eso por qué es? So this machine takes those little cards and tells you whether or not someone's a good guy or bad guy? Kind of. Actually, the helmet does all the work. The mental alignment meter is just a glorified arcade machine. So why not just go with the cards? And it says that people respond well to flashing lights and snap judgments. I can't argue with that. Every time I kiss her, I see flashing lights and lose all sense of judgment. No kidding. Vale. What's this? The mind map cards from the dozens of subjects I've tested during the last few weeks. I've got to get them sorted before the expo begins. Why? Edna's got this grand scheme to catalog all of Hill Valley citizens by their mental alignment. Isn't that cute? Not really. Bueno, esto supongo que será para después, así que vámonos. Que ya tenemos todo. Ah, no, no. Nos faltan las pieles, creo. Pero ¿dónde consigo yo eso? Pantalla de proyección. Hey, could we watch Frankenstein on this? Sorry, Harry, but I need this projector to trigger positive and negative visual stimuli for my mental alignment tests. Besides, a movie like Frankenstein should really be watched on a big screen, don't you think? Vale. What's this typewriter do again? During a mental alignment test, it takes messages from the mind map helmet and turns them into punch cards. Like the one for Mr. Tannen over there. Seems complicated. Actually, it was all rather easy to put together. Once Edna gave me the idea. Sounds to me like you should be working on harder problems then. What? Uh, sorry, I've got to get back to work. Y si cambio... Tannen's mind map. If Emmett's map looked like this, I bet Edna wouldn't think he's such a model citizen. Claro, pero como? If I'm gonna take Emmett's mind map, I better replace it with another one. Sí, es verdad. Esto supongo que no servirá para luego. ¿Y cómo lo hacemos, tío? Phew. Ugh. Did the clamp fall off again? Um, yeah. Put it back on. Well, oh, I don't even know why I keep that bacteria tank around. Every time the clam falls off the nitrogen tube, it takes a couple of minutes before I can get the stench out of the air. Si está en rojo, pero ¿cómo hago para que utilice otra vez la máquina, tío? Hey, Emmett, got a sec? Why, yes. In fact, I've got several. What 
do you say we take a break for a couple of hours and go see a movie? A couple of hours? Actually, it may be more like 70 minutes. I haven't got a couple of hours. I still got all these mind maps to sort, and the MAM's wiring is still giving me fits, and... I get it, you're busy. Mm, vale. No, aquí no creo que... You sure you don't want to take in a movie? I think you'll like it. Strange as it may sound, I've got more pressing things to think about than going out to movies. <sighs> okay. You look busy. Why don't we talk later? Sure thing. Es que no sé si volver ahora porque es que no tengo. No sé si me ha pedido pieles o qué. Trixie me pidió pieles, diamante. A ver. Puedo meter esto aquí. I don't want to get that covered in any messy oil. Vale. Casco. A ver. So when it's turned on, that helmet can really read your mind? Not really. It's actually a little more than a simple Wheatstone bridge. Measuring galvanic skin responses to various sensory stimuli. Like those pictures you showed me? Precisely. The theory is that good citizens will have positive reactions to positive figures, while bad citizens will have positive reactions to negative figures, and so on. And it really works? So far. Mm, vale. Yo creo que voy a volver. Y luego ya, si eso, volvemos aquí. Que ya no sé qué vas a hacer aquí. Toca discos. I don't care by Trixie Trotter. Edna doesn't approve of that sort of music, but I find it very soothing. Oh. <laughs> o sea que encuentra, digamos, cosas positivas en Trixie y malas y le meto un chispazo y eso. Pero es que no lo entiendo ahora mismo. Cambiador de fotos. A ver. Nothing happened. Well, that button advances the slides during the mind mapping test. It only works while the test is running. ¿Cómo hago para que te metas otra vez aquí? This thing reads Emmett's mind maps. Y no puedo coger esto. ¿no? Mind if I... Go ahead. Hostia. Hooligan. Ah, oh, that'd be Mr. Needleman's card. I'll just put this in the stack with the other hooligans. Looks like you got a lot of hooligans. Yeah, about 90% of Hill Valley thus far. It's a little disturbing. No puedo coger alguna. Looks like you got a lot of... Yeah, about 90... No puedo cambiarla por nada de aquí, no. Pues ya no sé qué hacer. Aquí no hay ningún... Ningún traje de piel ni nada. Vamos a volver. Hey Emmett, I've got to go out for a while. I thought Edna sent you to make sure I wasn't getting distracted. Oh, you'll be fine. Luego si eso volvemos otra vez. Ahora vamos a hablar con Trixie. Ah, mira, esto... A lo mejor podemos sacar de aquí las pieles. Furs donated by Lamont's House of Ermin. At least they're going to a good cause. Coge la coge. Tighten this tar. Joder. Times may be hard in Hill Valley, but our present worries fade into insignificance when we ponder our Pleistocene past. Is the wolf knocking at your door? Be glad he's not a Tyrannosaurus, king of the ancient lizards. 
And if you find yourself drowning in debt, well, you could be drowning in something a whole lot stickier. Like the Hill Valley Tar Pits. This peek into the distant past is brought to you by Lamont's House of Urban. Reminding you, fur is forever. Y no puedo coger la... La piel, tío. They're stuck tight in this tar. No puedo meterle esto tampoco, ¿no? I don't want to get that covered in any me... Volcán. That volcano looks a lot like the one I did for my 7th grade science fair. Carpa de autos del futuro. ¿Dónde vas, tío? No, a ver, macho. Que te vas ahí a... Hay que conseguir esta piel. No sé cómo. ¿Se la meto aquí? Joder. ¿Cómo coño saco eso? Pues no lo sé. A ver, vamos a hablar primero con Trixie. Hi, Trix. Oh, hi, kiddo. Say, wouldn't it be easiest if I just march up to that Strickland dame and give her a smack in the puss? Well, it would be fun to watch, but I wouldn't get her to break up with my friend Emmett. Oh, right. You got all the props I asked for? The furs and the diamond? And your friend's photo album? Not all of them yet, but I'm working on it. Good. I mentioned to give Miss High and Mighty an eyeful. Vale. Es que no sé cómo coger la mierda esta de... Vamos a hablar con Arthur, a ver. Hey, Artie. Hey, Mr. G-Man. How's the, uh, undercover operation? If everything goes as planned, we should be wrapping things up real soon now. Well, when it's time for me to play my part, just say the word. Así que eres el sujeto de las inscripciones, ¿verdad? Y Silvia... Que hicimos que se iba a encontrar con Silvia o algo así. So you're the registration guy for the expo? And chief accountant and paymaster. Hey, you're coming up in the world. And none of it would have happened if I hadn't responded to that subpoena. You haven't met Grand... I mean, Silvia yet, have you? My contact person? Not yet. Is he or she at the expo? I don't think so, and I'm pretty sure it'll be a she. Keep your eyes open for Sylvia. What should I do when I meet her? Just let nature take its course. Why did you have to go and fire Trixie? You think I wanted to? It's illegal for me to knowingly hire a Canadian for the job. And I don't want to be in trouble with the law again. Mm, I think the Hill Valley Expo will be a success. I don't see why not. Why shouldn't California have its own high technology center? No. <clears throat> Keep doing what you're doing, Grandpa. Grandpa? Uh, that's our uh, code name for you. Oh, ha! Funny. <laughs> Vale, ¿y cómo consigo la piel esa, tío? Aquí no creo que... Que haya que hacer nada. Hey, buddy. Oh, God, he's back. No, con esto tampoco. Vale, pues estoy un poco perdido, así que voy a mirar un momentillo, un momentito las pistas. Tal vez debas ensuciarlo un poco. A lo mejor no nos teníamos que haber ido. Demet que lo ensucie. 
Joder. Vale, pues. No había que irse. No me suponía que había que hacer algo ahí, pero yo qué sé. Hey Emmett, I've got a whoa. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> what the heck? Oh geez, I'm sorry. Your, your suit's ruined. Edna's gonna be royally PO'd. Wrong. What? When Edna gave me this suit, I realized that the probability of me keeping it clean was infinitesimally remote. So I spent a few hours whipping up this. Whoa. What was that? A chemical compound capable of wiping the grime off any surface. Damn it, you'll make a fortune. Not anytime soon, I'm afraid. Due to an inerrant instability in its molecular makeup, after 12 hours, the cleanser's component chemicals break down into a series of claw shredding enzymes, rendering it unsuitable for commercial use. Wait a minute, does that mean your suit's gonna dissolve in 12 hours? Hey, gods, no. The solution dissipates into the air after it's applied. But it does mean that after this batch of cleanser ages another 11 hours and 53 minutes, it would eat away this suit faster than a thousand starving moss. And that would be a crisis of unimaginable proportions. Why? Because this suit belongs to Edna's grandfather, who wore it on his wedding day. Poor guy was gunned down just a few years later. Emmett? Well, enough wool gathering. Back to work. Pero queda más lata aceite. Uh, damn it. What? Yeah, your jacket's got a little, um... No, oh, no worries. Pues no lo entiendo muy bien. That cleanser doesn't seem very... Portable. It isn't, but this is a perfume bottle. Yes, no, I mean, yes, it's a perfume bottle, but inside is a concentrated dose of my all purpose cleanser. With a little luck, this should last me through the next 12 hours before its component chemicals break down into a series of cloth destroying enzymes. Clever. Vale, si cogemos eso y se lo echamos al. What the hell is that? What? Sorry, I, I thought I saw a tarantula. Se lo echamos al, a lo de la piel y supongo que saldrá, ¿no? No sé, mm. vamos a probar. What? I was just thinking about the future. All that talk about Edna's grandfather made me realize something. Please let it be something about lightning. Life can be short, sometimes brutally so. So why not seize the day and grab your happiness while you can? I'm not sure I like where this is going. I was saving this for next Valentine's Day, but why should I? I know what I want. And oh, no, no. no need you. I'm gonna ask Edna to marry me. Right now. No. Oh, right, right. I'll wait until tonight at the expo. It'll be much more romantic that way. Just think. By this time tomorrow, Edna and I will be engaged and will be the toast of the scientific community. And I owe it all to you. You're welcome. Madre mía. Ahora sí. No sé si. Vamos a volver. Y si no, luego ya volvemos otra vez, que tampoco se tarda mucho. A ver. It's a good thing I did this before I'm its 12 hour time limit, where the cleanser might have dissolved the fur. Let's slip out of those furs, shall we? Vale, ya está, ya tengo todo. Hi, Trix. 
Oh, hiya, kiddo. Say, wouldn't it be easy when Damon give her a... Hey, so you have a nice would be fun to watch, but it wouldn't... Oh, right. You got all the props I asked for? The furs and the diamond? And your friend's photo album? Not all of them yet, but I'm working on it. Good. Que no? I mentioned to give Miss High and Mighty an eyeful. Pero como que no tienes todo, si ya lo tenemos todo, chico. A menos que haya que hacer algo con esto. Hey Trixie, are these furs good enough? Well, they're a little ratty, but uh, they'll work. How about the diamond in the photo album? I'll get them to you. Vale, que hay que dárselo uno por uno, vale. Eso no lo sabía yo. I brought him its photo album like you asked. Let's see. Gee, he's not bad looking. In an egghead kind of way. Remember, I don't want you seducing him for real. I ain't a cradle robber, kiddo. Now bring me that diamond and we'll be in business. Ahí estamos. Venga. Último objeto. Voila. Say, pretty snazzy for a phony rock. Gimme. Keep that up and I may take a real shine to ya. I'd rather you take a fake shine to Emmett. I'm working on it. So, you got everything you need for your big scene? Everything except for your friend. Emmett Brown, redheaded guy about yay high. He'll be the one with Edna Strickland. Not for long he won't. Great. Money. ¿Y ahora qué hacemos? I see. Well, you certainly do know a lot about me, Mr. Sagan. Hey, Doc. I mean, uh, Mr. Sagan. Excuse me a moment, Miss Strickland. I've got her neutralized for the moment. How's the plan proceeding on your end? About that gizmo you've got hooked up to the DeLorean? The chronometric analyzer? Yeah, what am I supposed to look for again? A signal that it's done evaluating the time circuits. The analysis can take a while. Be sure to let me know when the light turns green, and I'll take her out for another test run. <laughs> Horrible news, Doc. Emmett's gonna ask Edna to marry him tonight. But that's not how it happened. She didn't get me to propose until much later, that night at the lake. Something I said must have caused him to move up the timetable. Great Scott! This time travel business is trickier than I imagined. Mm, vale. Good news! I think Trixie's gonna go along with my scheme. Pursue whatever strategies you like. But please. Vale. I swipe this from Emmett's, your lab. My it's anti a. Anti stick, anti stain formula. I remember it well. I had high hopes for that concoction until I discovered that it decays into a cloth shredding enzyme after 12 hours. That's what your younger self said. Vale. It's about Edna. Don't worry. She's not going anywhere right now. That's good, but... <laughs> ¿De qué habla? What are you two talking about anyway? It's a private matter. I promised I'd keep it between us. For the present. Have you found out anything that can help me? Only that she's stubborn, argumentative, and completely convinced of her own moral superiority. Great, thanks, Doc. That really helps. She isn't starting to get under your skin, is she? Heavens no. The memory of her older self wheeling me into the reconditioning chamber is just too strong. The younger version is decidedly more attractive, though. <laughs> On another subject... Less distasteful, I hope. Mm, creo que ya no. I think I'm starting to get a plan. Good. Tell me. No, don't get my no. resolve. Can I talk to you a minute, Miss Strickland? Surely. 
Excuse us a moment. It's like this. No. That's all the questions I got. Very well, then. Vale. No sé lo que hacer ahora mismo. Bueno, supongo que tengo que ir donde Emmet, pero bueno, voy a mirar las pistas, ¿vale? Que tampoco quiero estar aquí dos horas. Sí, eso ya lo sabemos. Se convierte en cimas de voladoras. Ah, podemos usar el DeLorean a lo mejor. Y así pasan 12 horas con el compuesto este, ¿no? Claro. Sí. Claro, podemos dejar aquí porque son como 6 horas, creo que nos dijo. Tenemos que mandar a hacer dos paseos así, ¿no? It'll be safe in there. Mm, vale. Doc said to tell him when the light on his diagnostic thingy went green. Hey, the light's green. That means Doc could take the DeLorean out again. Venga, vamos. Por aquí no puedes ir. Joder, tengo que rodear todo el camino este. And your firm in I need to talk to you. Excuse me, my dear. Yes. Venga, hombre. Luce está verde. That gizmo you've got hooked up to the DeLorean? The chronometric analyzer? Yeah, the light's gone green. Wonderful. If the systems check out, I should be able to take it for another test run. I've got to run a short errand, and Miss Strickland, I suggest you think about what I've been saying. Oh, I will. When did you land this time? Nine hours and 37 minutes ago. Ouch. Frankly, it started to get a little difficult to avoid running into myself. Still, the time jump yielded some interesting new data on the flux field. I'll run some more tests and we'll see what we find. Todavía no han pasado 12 horas. Así que no sé qué hacer. Nope, no green light yet. Ahora cómo hacemos que se vuelva verde? Con la tarta verde. Se me ha ocurrido así. Nah. No. I don't think so. Y qué vale. Vale. ¿Cómo hacemos que se vuelva? Eh. Spray. ¿Qué ponía por aquí? Ponía spray o algo. Joder, ¿dónde? Aquí. Ah, no, vale, que es lo de la botella. Ya hay que hacemos, tío. Vale, ya no sé qué hacer, eh. Va, voy a mirar la pista, lo siento. No se debería jugar así, pero bueno. Estoy grabándolo y eso tampoco. Quiero tirarme aquí mucho tiempo. Que está listo para otra prueba. Sí, pero ¿cómo? Si no está verde. Me va a decir que no, si no está verde. I need to talk to you. Excuse me, my dear. Not at all, Mr. Sagan. Take your time. Much obliged, Miss Strickland. Yes? Your chronometer's gone green again. Excellent. 
Let's hope this time my test run is a success. I'm sorry to desert you again. Yes, well, you've left me with plenty to think about. Ah, se va aunque esté en rojo. Pues muy bien. Any luck this time? Depends what you mean by luck. My arrival time was off again. By how much? Eight hours this time. Gave me the chance to take in three showings of Frankenstein. Good movie. A bit implausible from a scientific perspective, but I can see how my younger self would have been mesmerized. But what about the DeLorean? Oh, yes. I did get one critical piece of information. The chromium elements in my circuits became unstable during the temporal shift. I should replace them with titanium. Great! Now, unfortunately, titanium won't become commercially available till the coal process is perfected in nine years. Nine years? But there may be another solution. I'm going to fire up the chronometric analyzer again. Then, while I'm storing it, then you can... Uh-oh. Where did it go? Tell The lab! Stop! You better get down there before she makes the situation impossible. I'll tend to the DeLorean. Coño. Que la hace... Ah, vale. Está que la hace. Age to perfection. Vamos para allá. Ahora sí que sí. Hey Emmett, I'm back. Bueno, ¿a qué le ha pedido ya casarse? <coughs> oh my. You know, I thought you were coming down here to keep Emmett focused on his invention. No, oh, she is. But she's generously scheduled brief canoodling breaks every 45 minutes to keep my mind fresh. Time's up, dear. Let's get back to work. Shall we? Now, Mr. Callahan, what can I do for you? Mr. Sagan says he needs to talk to you back at the high school. He does? Whatever for? He says he's got a lead on the speakeasy arsonist. He does, does he? Well, I'm not sure anyone cares about that old story anymore. But I suppose I could spare a few minutes in the service of solving a crime. Will you be all right without me, sweetheart? It'll be tough, but I think I'll muddle through. Try to keep him focused. He's so easily distracted. Don't I wish. Venga, vamos al lío. Hmm. There it is. I've been looking all over for my portable anti-stick anti-stain formula. Where'd you find it? Um, out by the trash. That's strange. I haven't been out there for hours. Oh well. Are you gonna spray your jacket? It's looking a little dusty. Not until it's really dirty. This cleanser doesn't grow on trees, you know. Well, some of the ingredients grow on trees, but the rest are synthesized polycarbonate really detergent dirty? blends. I can do that. I'll wait until you're at the expo to show Edna what a suit-destroying slob you can be. Now all I have to do is figure out how to get this mind-mapping machine to say that Emmett's a degenerate criminal, and everything will be set. All right, I can't... Vale, se ha puesto rojo. Se supone que tenemos que darle hacia el verde, ¿no? Ah, that smells much better. Mm, vale. Ah, oh, that's the stuff. Vale. No. Voy a deslizarlo. Vale. 
esta foto es verde, pues supongo que haremos lo contrario, hacia el rojo. Eww. Vale, una más, que es el más a un chispazo. Ahí, vale. Ahora seguimos con más fotos. Vale, este le cae mal, pues tenemos que hacerlo poner en verde. Supongo que es lo contrario, ¿no? Sí. Mm, vale. Están como en amarillo, ahora sí que estoy perdido un poco. Ahí, la olla. Vale, este se pone en verde, así que... Está contento, hay que ponérselo en rojo. Vale, vale, creo que lo tenemos. Chispazo... Y volvemos a tocar esto. Trixie, una foto de Trixie. No le gusta, hay que ponerlo en verde. Vale. Hay que ponerlo en verde. La olla. Ah. Vale. Ahí está. I think your mind map test is broken. Oh. Well, that switch just keeps chowing out on me. No time to fix it now. I'll have to take care of it at the expo. Looks like I'm not going to be doing any more mind maps. I guess I'll test this out and hope for the best. Vale, esto lo probamos aquí. Bingo. <laughs> now Emmett's mind map is as bad as Tannen's. Now all I have to do is swap this out with Emmett's original mind map and Emmett's own machine will do him in. 